Hey guys, welcome back to 3-Pack-A-Day Habit. This is Dave Mitchner from DaveMitchner.com and today we are opening up three packs of 1992 Leaf Studio Edition. Each pack has 12 um, cards in it and we are looking for foil stamped heritage cards and packed as a studio by Leaf. Randomly inserted cards feature classic portraits of today's superstars wearing vintage uniforms of their current teams. Studio elevates collecting into an art. These were made by Leaf Incorporated out of Bannockburn, Illinois. And they were licensed by both Major League Baseball, Major League Baseball Association, and the Major League Baseball Hall of Fame. So let's get going. Um, I don't remember ever opening this set as a kid, so this is probably going to be new to me, too. Let's see what we got here. We got Mickey Telton, Mike Scosa, Kevin McReynolds, Mark Gibzinka, Wally Joyner, Wes Chamberlain, Mike Gallego, Steve Bouchel, Spike Owen, Greg Vaughn, Eddie Murray, and then Billy Williams of the Chicago Cubs who got into the Hall of Fame in 1987 on the checklist. Um, apparently there are 264 cards in the set. So there we go. That was pack one. It's a sharp looking product. Um, here's the reverse of the main back cards. It gives a little bit of personal info, some career stuff, and then talks about guys that they like to be up against, and some up close information about them. Like for instance, we just learned that Eddie Murray really likes the Raiders and the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. <laughs> Interesting set. So let's go ahead and crack the second pack. We've got Tino Martinez, Darren Lewis, and that would have been my three-year-old's finger that you're seeing come in. Ivan Pudge Rodriguez of the Hall of Fame. Tom Pagnosi. Tom Pagnosi. Talk about bad core talk about really bad correlation. Having two of the same exact card back to back in a pack. That's lame leaf. Tony Pena. Greg Olson, Vaughn Hayes, Eric Davis in the Dodgers uniform, yet another Mark Gubska, Gary Carter of the Hall of Fame, may he rest in peace, and Dante Bichette. All right, here's our final card. Okay, we got Phil Plantier. Terry Pendleton, Mark Langston, Rhino Sandberg. Um, a second checklist free train Red Schoendice. May he rest in peace. He just passed away earlier this year. Steve Avery with the Braves. Jim Abbott with the Angels. And Jim Abbott is one of my very favorite stories in baseball because, you know, he pitched with only one hand. Uh, Heritage Series Cal Ripken Jr. So this is one of the chase cards. Here's what the back looks like. Uh, wearing a 1951 St. Louis Browns uniform with a patch commemorating the 50th anniversary of the American League. The Browns left St. Louis for Baltimore in 1954 having never won a world championship and became the Orioles. The glove Ripken is holding is one of the last of its kind to be used in 1951 as players begin using larger gloves by that time. Cal could perform at a Hall of Fame later no matter what era he played in. So, and there's the front of that card again. I think those look better than the regular cards for sure. Shane Mack. John Crunk. Or Crook. Sorry. Donnie Baseball. Donnie Mattingly. 
And Jose Lind holding what looks to be a, a Kitana. That's a little odd. Let's see if it says anything on the back of it why he might be holding a Kitana. No. Okay, this is just plain weird, the fact that a baseball player is featured on a baseball card holding a sword. We'll just leave it at that. But there we go, folks. That's three packs of Leaf Studio. You guys have a wonderful day. It has been a pleasure being your host here on Three Pack a Day Have It. And like the great Ernie Banks said, it's a beautiful day for baseball, folks. Let's play two.